So, <laughs> hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abdul Majid Suleiman. I'm sorry for this intro. So, <laughs> hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abdul Majid Suleiman. I'm sorry for this intro, it's gonna be a terrible one, but <laughs> I've tried. Uh, I've just knocked out a top set of squats so far. So I'm currently inside the gym. We're currently about seven weeks out from nationals. Again, keeping up with the weekly updates and how training's going and everything. I think today we had a top set on 255 kg. Unfortunately, the energy today wasn't just the best considering what happened yesterday. Is coming home. Yesterday was the Euros finals, um, and also it was raining. Like the ter weather was terrible today, so literally came in. Unfortunately, no intro. Just decided to focus on the workout itself, try and get that out, and then smash you back down with my accessories, and hopefully compose myself together enough to do this intro. So. I do apologize, it's not the most exciting intro, but it is what it is. So today we had 255kg on squats for three reps, which moved okay. I was a bit skeptical about my depth going in the squats, but I sent some videos to my coach and he basically said my depth is fine. Um, a bit of bicep rotation, again, like I mentioned last week, I'm still dealing with that. But I've got a physio session of coming, or coming on Wednesday this week. So hopefully I can get some answers and get some more direction on what I need to do for that. So after the 255kg squat, we had 220 for a couple of triples. And that was pretty much about it. We had some accessories, some Bulgarian split squats, um, I had some core exercises, and I also had some hamstring RDLs. So, not a ridiculously exciting day. The 255 moved okay. I'm happy with it, considering the whole situation and how I came into the squat session. But it is what it is. We keep on moving. Hopefully, I can give you a more, a more composed intro or speech tomorrow when we have bench. Hopefully, bench goes great. Even though the bicep is feeling a bit irritated, I've done some um, face pulls during this session and that seems to be elevating, um, reducing the bicep issue, which is very weird, I don't know why, but hopefully on Wednesday we'll get more answers and I can maybe tell you guys what I'm doing to resolve the bicep issue I'm getting, mainly when I squat and then it transfers over to bench. But enough talking for me, I'll catch you guys tomorrow and hopefully stay safe and hopefully you guys are not too, or <laughs> if you're from England, you're not too down with the loss yesterday, so I'll catch you guys there. Hop in and hop out. So, hello and welcome to the second portion of the video. Um, we're currently in the gym, we're back in FSI again. And we've got a bench workout. So like I said, last year was a bit fatiguing and rushed in time. So I didn't really get time to introduce the video and everything. But today we've got a bit more time to the next thing. So we've got a top set on bench. I think working up to a top triple, RP7 maybe, give or take. And then we've got back down um, after that. So let's see how today goes. I'm pretty knackered. Um, been at work till like four o'clock. Uh, I've had a coffee, I still feel really tired, so I'm just going to have some pre-workout, see how that feels, and then hopefully we get a good session overall. So, I think also doing this, I might talk to you about what I'm thinking doing bench. I didn't bring my deadlift shoes, unfortunately, um, or I'm using my deadlift shoes for bench, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see if we can hit something good, and we'll proceed from there. So, let's do a little B-roll in three, two, one, and...
So that pretty much rounds up today's training session. Um, I think it's fair enough to say I had one of the <laughs> one of the worst possible bench session I've had in a very long time. Uh, my bicep just nah, it didn't happen. So I saw the session felt okay. I was really hyped. I had some ridiculous numbers in my head because I was feeling good, considering like how the day had gone. And then I started warming up, got to 130, and my bicep was just like nah. Pushed it to 140. 140 moved relatively okay. I mean, I'll say RP6, RP7, pretty easy. But then after that 140, my arm just like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just went dead. And I just knew that if I benched, like I, I tried 120 and then I just, everything felt so unstable. I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna bench. So I was pretty pissed off after that. Um, I was supposed to talk and everything, but honestly, I was just not in the mood. Uh, I was being a little bitch basically. <laughs> but I just decided to sit down, reset, and then try and focus as much as the rest of the session. So I just decided to apply that anger. Zimbu. 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 Into the rest of the session and smash out some good accessories, which went not, too, we went pretty okay. Um, I did like some wide grip push-ups, which is really good. Like I could still feel my bicep, but then I was able to really target the chest. And hopefully just get some volume in there because my bench, I've got a lot of catching up to do with my bench and this is not exactly what I want to be dealing with so like so I'm still far out from the comp but it's not looking the best but I've got my physio hopefully I get some advice and I get some assistance on what I need to be doing so <laughs> after the 140 I just decided to like I scroll through got some Japanese anime sad songs and I just decided to smash that out like the whole playlist while I was working out embrace that that sadness and embrace that hunger inside of me but it was fun um i'll literally play my accessories out because uh, <laughs> there's nothing hype to really talk about so i'll play my accessories out with the songs i was listening to hopefully you guys enjoy it we went through some incline rows some wide grip push-ups some flies just to get some blood in there um some back rows some pull-ups and that was just a bite so hopefully that just plays in the background and i'll let that run for like a minute or so <laughs> So pretty much um, that's it, that's what we're going to call it, I've got my physio session tomorrow, so we'll see, I was thinking of ending the video, yeah it's not much of a video, like injuries is injuries, there's nothing I can do, I forgot to mention we had a 280 for top set of 5 last week Saturday actually, so I'll let that play out, deadlifts have been going great and loyal, um, squats are okay, and bench because of the squats and the whole bicep issue is just not working with me right now. So we'll let the 280 play out and then pick up the rest of the conversation. Hopefully catch you guys in, the, in a bit if I end up ending the video here. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. If you've got any comps coming up, push through, but also like know when to dial back and just let it go. Cause being fully injured and having a niggle is, is a completely different thing. So I'll catch you guys in a bit and I'm sorry for the shit video, but it is what it is. It's prep week. There's nothing we can do. We keep on moving, we keep on striding forward. So I'll catch you guys later.